Magandang gabi sa inyong lahat. Ako ang inyong uh, poging poging professor, Sir SJ. At uh, kaya ako nag-video ngayon ay uh, nag-video message sa inyo. Is that because I have been receiving queries, I have been receiving questions regarding uh, your assignment or your take-home exam. Now, uh, I cannot answer each and every one of you. Ang dami-dami nyo eh. So, what I thought about uh, is to uh, come up with this video and distribute this to your group chats so that uh, we'll get to be able to clarify those things that you have been asking. Now, first of all, ang objective natin dito is uh, para hindi, hindi naman para kayo pahirapan, ano? Actually, I tried to uh, make it as simple as possible, the requirement as simple as possible, but then at the same time, you will have the chance to learn those things that we failed to discuss in our class and to uh, get to be able, for you to get to be able to refresh your knowledge on the previous things that uh, we have already discussed. So this is actually designed to optimize student knowledge in our subject matter. And by optimizing student knowledge, you are, uh, the way in which you can optimize your, stu uh, your knowledge about this matter is that you get to pick up on your uh, own the those terms that you think are important to be included in the 60 terms that you are supposed to that you are supposed to write now uh 60 terms 60 philosophical terms are 60 philosoph are 60 uh things in philosophy that you will never forget those 60 things in philosophy are things that I hope, okay, and the other professors hope, you have, you are really going to be able to learn. So, our, our, ano, our motivation here is for you to really do it well and uh, not just uh, copy and paste. But really think about each of the items that you are going to put in your final paperwork or final outcome, right? So, so at first, there are plenty of philosophical terms in our discussions in ethics and uh, I really hope that you are not going to limit yourselves to the readings that I gave you that we sent to you but also you try to expand your knowledge your readings by way of consulting other books and materials that you might find in the internet the internet right now is really very rich in information so I am really sure that even in the absence of a physical library you will have an access to the wealth of information that is available in the web. Now, so, first thing about this is that if you do this, if you do this, so say for example, you chose the word or the term synderesis, right? Synderesis. Synderesis may be a very difficult term to understand for non-ethics learner. Or for non-morality students but for you who have already learned synthesis you would be able to um, differentiate the definition of synthesis come up with an actual definition of synthesis and the second part would be the second part would be an explanation to the definition explaining the definition of synthesis you know what synthesis is right that we are inclined to do the right thing and avoid the bad okay to avoid evil and to try to do good now you have to be able to come up with a uh, real 
and technical definition. That's number one. That's number one. And you can, you do not, and you are not, uh, you are not discouraged to use re other resources. Mm, maybe other books. Maybe not from the PowerPoint that I gave you. You can use other resources. And as you type in in Google, in the races, there are going to be, there will be plenty of options or definitions that would uh, appear in your search engine. Now, this is the first thing. This is the first thing that will help you. If you would be able to choose the most proper, the best definition there is, and put it in your 1.1. So, synthesis number one, and then 1.1, the definition. So, here you are already making use of your critical thinking by getting to be able to choose the proper definition or the, uh, the best definition that the internet, the web has to offer. Secondly, and this is quite challenging for you, the definition has to be explained in 1.2. It has to be explained. And in explaining, well, you really have to employ deeper thinking, critical thinking here, because you have to get to be able to explain it using your own words. Try to imagine you are a teacher. You are yourself a professor. And you would like to... Um, your students to really understand what synthesis is. So what are you going to do? You have the definition. Look at that definition. Look at the different components of the definition. Explain the different components of the definition and put them all back in. Okay? And that is what is being asked in the explanation of the definition all right so you are acting as if you are the teacher all right you are acting as if you are um trying to uh, allow others to understand what you already know okay and then of course as a teacher as a professor you are supposed also to in order to uh, for the topic or an idea to be thoroughly understood you have to be able to give proper proper examples good examples right good example so in synthesis what can we give as an example to synthesis uh you remember this remember this Okay, this is my example, right? We are inclined, okay, our, uh, we are, our inclination is to do good, right? But the force of nature, uh, the force of nature is actually, uh, no, no, yeah, we are inclined to do good, but this is uh, going to be a difficult thing for us to do, okay? It's like, uh, bending your arm on the opposite way, right? So, in a, in an example, in an example, you can say, um, who's this guy? Um, come on, give me a name. Come on, give me a name. Some a cool name. All right. Okay. Ah, here, the professor. You see the professor. Some money heist. The professor in the money heist would really like to do the right thing, all right? And in his mind, robbing a bank, okay, robbing a bank is something noble because he is thinking about uh, um, putting the, the, the riches of the world, okay, giving all the riches of the world to everybody, have, uh, so that everybody would have equal, 
equal uh, equal uh, opportunity to partake of all the riches of the world uh, since you know that uh, uh, there are only very few people who are enjoying the world's riches right so the professor is always uh, facing the professor is always facing difficult situations wherein does he have to hurt somebody in order to in order to uh, you know in order to uh, uh, make his point uh, in order for his plans to succeed but his original his original um his original reason for the money heist is good but somehow he is facing some difficult difficult choices wherein he has to resort to violence he has to resort to violence he has to resort to doing something bad all right and he is having really some um existential crisis in those occasions it is difficult for him it's getting so difficult for him to make decisions whenever there are violence uh, a violence would come out because of that decision the professor is actually experiencing experiencing the effect of synderesis the professor does not want anything evil to happen his intention was good and he doesn't really want to do anything that is evil however However, he finds it hard not to resort to evil means because it is really our tendency, it is really our uh, inclination, it is easier for us to resort to something, uh, to resort to, uh, um, to resort to those, uh, uh, no, what's this? Paraan, okay? To resort to all those pamamaraan, ways, okay? That are easier. And most of the times, easier ways are not really that, may not really, may not always be good, okay? It may not always be good. You want to tell the truth to your parents and kagaling. You want to, you don't want to, you don't want to be dishonest. That's your synderesis. But you do not want your parents to be angry at you or to be displeased with you. And so you try to embellish the truth a little bit and say, May project po kami eh. Yeah. Okay. That's synderesis. So those are, those are examples. Okay. Those are examples that you can give to your would-be students. If, uh, uh, we are going to continue with uh, with the view in the context of being a teacher and trying to explain it. That's how you learn. That's how you do. That's how actually, if you really want to uh, learn things in in ways that are much deeper, more profound. Okay, think about teaching. Okay. Uh, learn in or uh, think about teaching it okay in other words while learning think about this that you are learning in order to get to be able to teach now how do you translate that's component number four how do you translate Cinderesis in our vernacular. Is there, is there a proper translation for cinderesis? Is there a really tagal? Meron ba talagang tagalog na salita na katumbas ng cinderesis? Kung meron, 
yun ba ay yun ba ay uh, kumakatawan sa lahat ng konsepto ng uh, terminong philosophic philosophical na ito kung meron gamitin mo kung meron gamitin mo pero kung wala wag pilitin naintindihan niyo kung wala wag pilitin katulad ng synthesis sa palagay ko walang tagalog na salita so ang gagawin lang dito ay ita tagalog mo yung spelling ng synthesis s i n d e r e s i s synthesis so ano lang na palitan yung y naging i pero katulad ng being that's another philosophical term at yun ang nilagay ko sa template ninyo meron meron talaga there is a tagalog equivalent for that word being that encompasses all the concept okay that encompasses all the concepts embrace embracing all the concepts giving justice to the concept philosophical term being and that is being in tagalog is meron nagme meron pag me meron okay so I hope this time ay nasagot ko na ang mga tanong ninyo. So, this is how you are, that's how you are going to do your work. Kung natapos na kayo, maybe uh, because uh, you are given an extension, the submission would be May 20, alright? So, you have, you are given plenty of time, but... I would like to challenge you, my dear students. Please do not settle in mediocrity. Do not be minimalists. How are you going to do that? Actually, sinabi ko na sa inyo eh. I gave you already an idea in the uh, description and expected output of the students. In the instructions that I gave, I wrote that you are not limited to 20 items per topic. Okay? I said, you can write as many terms as you want. Okay? And those terms that are going to be beyond or above 20 items will pay for some of your uh for for some of your demerits that uh, you incurred during our during our um regular classes maybe for example you were late in coming to my class or you were not able to perfect the uh, quiz that I gave or your um, preliminary exams and uh, your uh, midterm exams, you think, you may think that your midterm exams or preliminary exams are not perfect. Those extra points that you are going to garner from the uh, additional items that you are going to put in in your work will be applied to those things. So, you, you really want to have good grades. If you really want to receive good grades then I don't think you're going to stop at number 20. If I were you, I would write 100. There are plenty of terms. You will never, you are never going to uh, run out of philosophical terms. If the reading material that I sent to you, you have already exhausted the read, reading material that I have sent to you, then don't stop there. Yeah. Google it. Yeah. You can find other reading materials in the internet. And you will be amazed at the wealth of knowledge that there is. The available wealth of knowledge that you will find by really trying to learn things on your own. So good luck everyone.
So what else? Ah, yeah, the format. The format. Now, I would like to... There are some people <laughs> who asked me that uh, can they um, come up with another format. The reason why I want you to follow this format, the format, the template, is for an easier checking now. Remember that when you submit your papers on May 20, I am only going, we, your professors, are only going to have very, very limited number of days for us to evaluate your work. And uh, if you are going to submit in different, uh, using different formats, our, our, um, our minds or our judgments may be clouded, right? Uh, I may find the... Uh, some professors may find uh, papers with butterflies in it or or uh, colored colored outputs in it would be more uh, deserving of a higher grade so we don't like to be influenced by that so i want all the papers to be to look the same okay and so here, I'm going to show you. So, I hope you can see this. Right, okay. So, here. Alright. There you are. So, you only have to put your name here. Okay. Name. And then your... Uh, and then, of course, your um, your section okay the section where you belong all right and then the name of your professor because there are three of us who are teaching ethics so if you are just going to leave your if you are just going to leave your paper in the office without us there or only the secretary is there or there is no one there and you're simply going to leave your paper. Uh, your paper might get lost or it may not be able to uh, uh, reach us. But if the name of the professor is there, if the name of the professor is there, the secretary or whoever is in the office would know uh, where to put it. Okay, so that is really very important. Okay, that is really very important. So, don't forget to write your professor's name. Okay? So, okay, your name first, and then below your name, your section, then your professor's name, and then the name of the school. In the middle would be the title, Glossary of Philosophical Terms, and then part one, you have part two, and then you also have part three. So, part one would be... Uh, about ethics, uh, the principles of ethics and morality. That's the first topic that I have explained to you. And then the second part would be the survey of ethical school of thoughts. Remember hedonism, epicureanism, stoicism, up to uh, Filipino centripetal ethics. Okay, so there you have it. Um, in a bulleted form, Okay, uh, no, no, indented numbering, in indented numbering, you have the, you have the, um, the, the philosophical terms and then the definition and then explaining the definition in your own terms and then some examples and then the Tagalog, Tagalog uh, equivalent. Remember, there will not always be a Tagalog equivalent to a philosophical term. So if there is no Tagalog equivalent, Wag nyong pilitin. Okay? May iiba lang yung meaning. So, in other words, gawing Tagalog, po pwede nyong gawing Tagalog ang ibang terminolohiya. Naintindihan? Gawing Tagalog ang ibang terminolohiya. Okay. So, let me put it back. Uh -huh. So, siguro yun lang, ano? So, tingin niyo kaya ba? Kayang-kaya. 
Uh, kung ikukumpara ito sa mga ibang requirement ninyo, alam ko, I know that uh, some of your requirements are term papers, case papers, right? And these are, this I think is easier for you. And, uh, you, you know, the reason why I did not ask you to come up with a case paper or a case study, it is going to limit the scope of learning that you are going to receive but if uh, with this with this uh, with this glossary of terms i know that this will encompass embrace everything and even if we haven't or we were not able to have this class discussion on some of the topics you will you are going to be equipped with the knowledge or the uh, the basic ones all right so, I wish all of you the best in these uh, uh, difficult times. I am also having some difficulties. Um, yeah, you have to admit, it is really very difficult for me to stay at home and not to get to be able to teach. So, there is something that I would like to propose to you guys. I am thinking of uh creating videos yes you heard it right i am thinking of creating videos of uh all the topics okay or at least those remaining topics that i know we were not able to discuss i'm going to try to keep it short try i will try my best alam nyo naman that i am uh whenever whenever i start talking Okay, whenever I start talking, I may never get to be able to uh, uh, stop myself. Okay, I love the sound of my voice. <laughs> All right, <laughs> so I am really going to, uh, I'm really going to try to keep it short. Okay, so I am going to uh, discuss these remaining lessons by... Um, chunks little chunks so that uh, you would not get tired of listening to me and looking at my pretty face ha kala nyo ha so ah nga pala so yun ha so mag upload ako sa mga GC natin kung uh, kung hindi pwedeng i-upload sa GC pag-aralan ko mag-upload sa Facebook or sa YouTube Baka sakaling kumita pa ako doon, alam ko mayroong uh, chance to earn sa YouTube kung marami mga views. So sana paulit-ulitin ninyo yung panonood para dumami yung views para magkaroon ako ng counting kita. I-donate natin sa COVID victims. Okay? Uh, so that's it. And nga pala, yung mga kasama ko sa COC na iniwan ako. Mm. Bet nyo ako iniwan. <laughs> Balik kayo sa clan natin, okay? So, see you and uh, have a good day to all of you.